Dang it. There's no smell. The smell has been sucked out. The mids don't smell like the OG highs. The OG highs have a have a smell. They smell so good. Why is that? Glue. <laughs> Lots of it. And nicer materials. <laughs> Hey, what's good guys? This is Chris from WearTesters.com. Welcome back to the official WearTesters.com YouTube channel. And today we got a detailed look at these guys right here. This is the Air Jordan 1 Mid SE. I believe they're being called Rivals, but that's up for debate. Real quick, before we get started, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to our Wear Testers Discord community. They are the reason why we're able to do what we do. They help support us in more ways than one. If you wanted to find out what it's like and what it means to be a Wear Testers Discord community member, click the link in our description box below. We would greatly appreciate it. And with that out of the way, we're gonna get right up close and personal with the these guys because these are kind of fire don't you think do you like these actually don't tell me because we got them she's gonna talk her at the end however these are called the air jordan one mid rivals again i'm not sure exactly why obviously there are like a parent you know teams in here like la and then we've got new york right there on the tongue and then maybe portland back here I don't know, but who else is in involved in this? Like, where's Utah? You know what I mean? Where's Seattle? Like, what are the rivals? Is there Cleveland in there? Is that Cleveland and not New York? Like, is that old school Cleveland? I don't know. So it's very vague. It's very vague. But I think that that was how the, I can't remember what they were called. They're the ones that Chris Paul wore. And I think that was like a rivals one too. So maybe they're splitting the rivals up like between two shoes. I'm not really sure. But what I like about these are not only the funky colors and stuff, but I like the choices that they use on these because it makes them feel like a premium release, even though it's, it's a Jordan 1 mid so it's not going to be premium but the stuff that they've done to it just kind of feels like that especially on the grade school pair so the main body or overlay section of the shoe is this synthetic nubuck and all that stuff but then the interior portion is this leather very similar if not identical to the blue toe or royal toe whatever you want to call them the low tops and i like the way that this looks i think it looks great it's not a premium leather or anything like that but it bends well it flexes well it doesn't show tons of creases for anybody curious so i dig the way that this looks the midfoot panel on the other hand is that stiff cheap material they've been doing this a lot on their both the lows and the mids but i love this double swoosh right here and it's got this kind of like nylon look or i, I guess you would call that satin and then they move that over to the collar area where the red is it looks really great this stuff right here is super comfortable too it's nice and soft and then the tongue is nylon which i love now the air jordan ones fit true to size for me personally so if anybody's wondering or if you're looking you know to grab a pair you should be able to find these in store in most sizes to be able to you know try them on and all that stuff but i go true to size that's what i would recommend as far as tech specs go for the air jordan one it's a rubber cup sole with an encapsulated heel air sole unit there's nothing in the forefoot you're almost on the ground in these guys some people find it comfortable some people do not i personally do like the comfort overall just because it's very black like you can add an insole in there if you need extra comfort or whatever it is but for me i think that it's fine just the way that it is it feels very neutral and then the traction pattern typical air jordan one traction best traction of all time just saying, they got it right the first time, 1985. Now these things do differ from the grade school pair. So here they are. I think that these look super, super cool in grade school. I don't know why, but when they're squished down to right about this size, they look super cute. You know what I mean? Why you like me? No, okay, it's not, that's not it. Uh, no. For anybody wondering, they do come with extra laces, both the grade school and the men's, and uh, it's just one set of laces. They're white. I almost dropped my shoe, so I'm not going to pull it out. But it's the toe box area that's different on these guys. These guys feature that kind of satin toe, whereas these have the leather toe. So just to give you guys a quick look, I actually really like the way that these look. I, I love leather, though, don't get me wrong, but I like that this kind of like plays into the other areas of the same material, so I think that it's a little bit more cohesive. I really dig it. Something that I'm noticing right now also is that the edges of the kids version are all all like rough cut like straight cut like you would see on an air jordan one high og whereas the men's they kind of like fold it over and make it like a rolled edge and all that stuff so you can't see the material in there again i like the way that this looks better it looks more like an air jordan one like this is how they're supposed to be made and then when we see the the rolled edges and stuff it adds a little bit of thickness to the material and on top of that to me that's just like them hiding that this is not a good material and they leave it open you can actually see now everything else about the shoe is pretty much identical to one another Although I did just notice something right now, which I think is super weird. I never really paid much attention to Air Jordan 1s in the kid sizes. If you want to bring that over here though, I want to show this. I'm sorry, you just put that back. But the stars, like they come all the way around, which is weird. Like I'm used to this little rand right here. I never noticed that it went all the way to the arch on the kids. I think that that's super weird. I know that might be a dumb thing to point out, but I mean, I just noticed it right now, so I never knew. 
And that pretty much takes care of it for these guys. Not much else to talk about. The craftsmanship is pretty decent on these guys. The material quality is just, you know, whatever. It's not anything crazy. Again, I like the uh, the kids version a little bit more. I like the nylon all the way around. I think it's cool. But you guys let me know which one you prefer. Do you like the, the leather toe or the nylon toe? These guys right here retail for 120 And then the grade school is $100 even. They are available right now over at Phenom. And if you are not local to the area, I'll leave their phone number down below because they actually do take phone orders. So you can order these on, on a, I was about to say online, but you can order them over the phone and they'll ship them right out to you and all that stuff. No questions asked. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your support. Let us know what you guys think about these guys down below in the comment section. And until next time, guys, have a good one. So this nylon, that's the, what the satin yeah, shoes I, are made out of, correct? Uh, that I don't know exactly. Cause like, I can't remember. Oh, cause um, but it is that kind of like satin material. I just know that normally you don't like the satin. I don't like the whole satin shoe. It okay. looks funny. I like it in pieces. I, I like the texture mm -hmm. differences. But these ones with the uh, the kind of like matte or dull black, it's got a good texture shine difference, which I, I dig. That's one of my favorite colors. Blue? Like in this, in that popping kind of blue. Like it's rich. Shimmery. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think it, it looks dope. I dig it. I, I still don't really get the whole, like what teams are in this besides LA and the New York tab? Or is this just a colorway? Like, and, and who put the rival's name on it? Was it Jordan or was it a retailer or was it just the internet? It's like its own mashup of like the Spizikes and stuff where it's like, can you find all of the, the shoes that are in there? Or the, like the Mars 270, like. That's the thing though, is that normally like, especially for a Jordan fan, like I know, like I see it be like, yeah, that's LA on the swoosh and stuff. Portland in the rear. Mm -hmm. Again, New York on the tongue and stuff like that. But it's like, who are they considering his rivals at this point? Because they never faced off against New York in the finals. You know what I mean? Because they're both Eastern Conference teams. True. Stuff like that where I'm kind of like, what is that? Obviously, they they played uh, LA in the, in the finals and, you know, first ring and all that stuff. They played Portland, but it's like, where's Seattle? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, like, what the hell? Where's Utah? Like, is the swoosh double meaning? Is that Utah? Utah and LA mm -hmm. like you know what I'm saying it's just weird to me so that's the only thing um, that I think is strange but otherwise I think it's a cool look we're in a weird time right now where you can do this and it's accepted because if you would have came out with a colorway like this in the 90s why well early 90s I think it would have been accepted mid to late 90s borderline 2000s people would have been like what the fuck is this shit? Cause they just wanted clean classic. I don't know if it was about clean classic, but I just know that the multicolored stuff was not cool. Oh. You know how like tie dye went out of style? Like it's like, that's the kind of look, but now that's back in. Yeah. And so is this. Back in the late nineties, early two thousands, everything was very team oriented. Like there might've been splashes of color here or there, like the zoom T bugs. Like those were like very classic colors. And then they had some neon hits on them or the, the Nike zoom glove, the white ones, with the black and then they left the neon inside on the monkey paw so you couldn't see it but there was a little bit of but it wasn't like all over the place and stuff so i just don't think that this would have fit in with that era but in today's world people like this stuff we live in a world where hello we did the atmos shoe uh, those were crazy so yeah those didn't do well though want to know why because when you wear them they get steamy and nobody wants nobody knew that though <laughs> <laughs> so they started wearing them i found that out after we recorded yeah that's nasty that's like when girls wear them see-through like dress shoes right like they're like kind of like to me i call them stripper shoes but like they make them uh they make them different now on the nose okay but like you know how they make them like actual high heels like closed ones yeah. but they're now see-through which is dumb i don't like that i don't know why people want to see their feet going like this inside that's hella nasty i don't even like looking i don't wear heels like ever but i used to work in an office and that's what you wore and my feet would look like yeah because that's just, as soon as you pulled them out that's <laughs> yo that's hella nasty but like on top of that them get foggy as fuck. yeah <laughs> I don't that's know. not a good look man like i'm just you know what i mean i just you think that shit's hella funny kim kardashian for that crap are you sure i'm pretty sure it wasn't strippers well she was trying to make it classy i don't think there's anything classy about a kardashian i don't man they're I'm, fascinating no they're not they are i cannot stand the fact that people are infatuated with dumb sh I don't want to be, but if it's on. Nah, man, they're just, those people, they're swindlers, man. Yeah. They're like the new age hustlers. You know what I'm saying? Like for some reason they draw people into them. That's their talent. You know what I mean? It's like they're like somehow captivating the, the minds of the mindless. Like I just think it's so weird. I think that's basically that channel though. E? Mm. So, but hey, I'm glad you learned something new today. See, you no, can even, even teach 
and old dog new tricks. Well, I always learn new shit. I like that. But that's cool when you learn something new about something that... I just, yeah, I never picked up a Jordan 1, like a kid's one, unless it was like our kid's yeah. shoe, but I never paid that close attention. I'm going to have to run go, through the house. Yeah, actually, I'm going to go look at hers <laughs> now, because she has two pairs of Jordan 1 mids, mm -hmm. and then she has one pair of OG highs, and so I wonder if her mids look like this yeah. or her OG highs. I doubt that the OG highs look like that. I'm pretty sure that they make those an exact, exact replica of the, like the actual shoe, but smaller, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm.